Today, we are musky fishing. Oh yeah! Dave calls, wanted to go musky fishing. I haven't been out, but I figured, let's give it a shot. True or false, musky is the fish of 1,000 cats. Not <laughs> true. It's 10,000 cats. You know, people want to see the biggest fish that swims in our waters around here, so you're always talking about musky. And people want to see a musky. I'm like, another musky man. <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty much like you're into this more than I thought. <laughs> Woody is the musky man, and I can't wait to get out on the lake today. We're at Pima Tuning Lake, and we have another musky maniac along for the ride today, my dad. I used to be a musky maniac. <laughs> <laughs> Who's also supplying the entertainment. We've never had a guitar in the boat before. This should be good, right, Nate? Welcome to the Woody Pomatuming Boat Cruise. We're uh, cruising right near here. We're behind Ackerman Island. George Washington used to frequent this area. He climbed that tree right there. If you look right to your right and to your left. Well, one time I was fishing on the island for like weeks Where at? on Lake LeBuff, a thousand casts, you know, counting down. And you came out and made like one or two casts that caught a muskie. And he's like, how long were you fishing here, Dad? <laughs> Remember that? Mm -hmm, I do. <laughs> I have a lot of really good memories of fishing for muskies with my dad over the years, and you could probably chalk this up as another one. You got a giant muskie lure hanging from your back. Really? Hold on, don't move. Well, you know, it, it, the weather has been tough. It's been, it's windy, and uh, I knew it was going to be tough fishing, and, you know, to top it off, we had an ugly east wind and not a very friendly day. Eh, catching a muskie is never a guarantee. We struck out today, but now, thanks to Woody, I got the muskie buzz, so we ain't done yet. It's personal now. We will catch a muskie soon. That's what's coming up on Erie Extreme. Uh. I'm Dave, and for the past 20 years, I've traveled the country fishing bass tournaments for a living. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we're having an absolute blast as we rediscover my old stomping grounds, just goofing off in this awesome place we call home. This is Erie. Erie Extreme. <laughs> hey, we're going to be a little bit late. Okay, who do you got going? Um, yeah! <laughs> What? Yeah! You want him to say it louder? I can't hear, I can't understand what... what yeah! <laughs> it's Dan. All right, this is take two. We're trading Bree in for Danny P. Jones, and Nate and my dad headed home to Columbus, Ohio. It's a new day. We're giving Pima Tuning one more chance. Wood route. What's going on, Dave? I am pumped. Good morning, brother. How's it going, man? Good, man. How about you? You think we're going to catch him? I hope so. You like the weather? Yeah, looking good. Hey, Dan. How you doing, buddy? And I can tell Woody's pumped, too. The conditions are perfect today. I feel it. All right, why don't you talk about what we're doing, Dave? I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing, Wood? We're going to go out and catch a muskie. It's time That's to catch it. one. It's as easy as that. That's it. Last time we were out, we had guitars and Hawaiian shirts everywhere. You know, it just kind of didn't feel like a muskie expedition, did it? No, today we're going to get it done. We weren't serious. Today, we got our game faces on. There'll be no laughing, no smiling, no laughing at all. No, we got to do that. Today. How's that working out for you? Focus. AM? No, all you do is auto and manual focus. It's one button. We'll take it off. Yeah, no, X takes it off. Okay, so one bite literally makes the whole show. So the cameraman's kind of important today. Right, Is he going the right Just keep way? going straight. He went the wrong way, didn't he? No, he's good. So we're trolling. Woody's putting out six rods with different baits and at various depths. All right. Depth. I've always caught them casting, so if we hook up today, that'll be a first for me. What's gonna happen? Well, you'll just hear the clicker go off. He's gonna hit it. You're gonna hear the clicker go yep, off? Yeah, you take the fish. And it's like like panic time? Like, yeah. yeah, somebody can grab the wheel, keep the boat straight, we can back it down halfway, then we'll just strip the other rods in so it doesn't get tangled with the fish. That's all. You can slow down. Yeah, we we'll slow down. This is gonna happen, isn't it? I hope so. so it's been happening. We spend the time, we'll catch one, I think. What do we do? Danny, you're gonna make sure we don't hit any the shoreline. I'll grab the boat and you guys just do whatever. The bites that you get, are they always in the same general area? No, so you might catch one out here over 16 foot and you might catch one out, you know, in three foot of water. Well, just instead of landing or uh, netting the fish, we just use this here, just grab them in the mouth, and then we can de-hook them and let them go without even taking the fish out of the water all the time. So it's gonna be a good day regardless of what happens with the muscles. That's a lot bigger. <laughs> You always eat good when you're with Woody. Always. There it is. Granola bars in there too. Fig bars. 
protein bars. Climate tuning musky fishing is no secret, and we're not the only ones on the water today looking for a giant toothy critter. Getting a little bit breezy now, it's gonna work. <laughs> All the rods are in, so now it's about covering water, hoping, and just waiting for it to happen. Oh, 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 oh! You got one, musky. Oh, he got off. Freaking kidding That was me. him. That was musky. It was, oh, too. Dude. That was him. Which rod was yeah, it? Yeah, that was six foot deep. That was a musky. Which rod sure. was it? This one? This, this one. one. Yeah, he bit it. Dang it. That's good enough. We got one. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Dang it. All right. That's the sound we're waiting for. Man, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That was definitely a fish, no Did doubt. You, do you catch them more often than you miss them? Yeah. You know why we lost them, right? Because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> why? Because you're here. I catch one every time out, except for when I got him in a boat, guaranteed. You caught one every single time you've come out? Every single time. Are you getting negative? No. I've learned to deal with it. No? <laughs> That's just me. Why would you say such a thing? My luck. I don't know. It's just the... Uh... That sounds like an excuse. Nah. We're going to get him. This is it right here, isn't it, Wood? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. Musky. Yeah. Oh, boy. We're going. Got him? Yeah, I just want me to grab this. Yeah, he's got on there. Got him. Get him. Got him. Oh, yeah, he's on there. Oh! He's, he's, still, on. he's, still, he's still on. on. No, he's still on. He's swimming toward the boat. Yeah, let me keep the boat going forward. Oh, man. You got him? Oh, holy cow. Get off. Did you see that jump? Wow. He's just a little guy. <laughs> but it's a musky. <laughs> All righty. What do you want to do? Oh, he got off too. Here, let me get that hook out of there. Smallest one I caught. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. There we go. That was crazy. Little guy. Hey, that's the first musky I ever caught trolling though, so that's something. Adrenaline mega rush stupidness. Okay. We got one. So now that now the pressure's off. Yeah. You always catch a small one first? No, that's the smallest one I've caught all year. Hey, I don't care. We got a musk. Yeah, let's go back through there again. We might catch another one. Red light's not on. Red Is it recording? Off. Yep. Are you sure? Positive. Oh my gosh, look at this. Baby backs. There's forks right in there. Plates. We're eating good. Nate up to? He don't come anymore. No, I'll come. Because <laughs> we never catch him. Really? He's like, I'm tired of you guys. Really? He's working for Babe Winkleman now. Boy, does that look good in the water? We made a couple of casts, and now we're going to troll our way back to the ramp before it gets dark. Come on, guys. We can do this. Who's that? This is a friend of mine, Pat. We were out last Saturday. He never caught a muskie before. He landed nice four. One. Yeah, and he uh, lost one. This is last week. That's nice. Sweet How many musky pictures are on your phone? Hundreds? Yeah, I got a lot. <laughs> this is me messing around, videoing them by myself two weeks ago. That's a big one. How big's that one? Yeah, that's probably three foot. It'd be nice if I could be in one of these pictures. <laughs> I hope so. It's not over yet. The ones last week were all in the 40s. How big's that one? Yeah. Yeah, like 38. It's a lot of musky pictures. Yeah, they have been right, biting really good. I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> The curse. It's curse. almost as fun looking at pictures of other people holding big muskies as it is actually holding one yourself. It's all about just catching one, you know? We lost one, could have been a 50 incher. Boom. Best musky day of your life. You just don't know. Still had fun. Please support our Erie Extreme partners Marquette Savings Bank. We create website design and marketing. The Avonia Tavern. Fishing Online, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, Driscoll Tax and Accounting, RW Petruso Hearing and Audiology, and Visit Erie. It's a beautiful day. This episode is sponsored in part by Someday I'll Tackle. What's under your bobber? Boys, I get to go home with some baby bags. <laughs> um, today, we went trolling all day. We caught a 20. How big was it? 28. So we caught a 48 incher <laughs> and it had a good day. Yep. Nice musky. Got lost. Man, these are good. Did we fire you yet today? It's too late. You can't fire me because I don't get paid. Right but I can quit. Always a pleasure. Always a good time yep. spending with you guys. Thanks. Thanks. That was fun. Yeah, I think Woody's a little disappointed. Unfortunately, we didn't get to add another picture to his cell phone collection. But today was awesome anyway, and a success in my eyes. And it fortified the need to keep the musky fire burning.
Hey, maybe since I caught a little one from a big boat, I can catch a big one from a little boat. I think these are F-18s. So this is not an official challenge episode, but we do have a challenge to catch a muskie from a kayak. Well, it's 4.30 in the morning, so I'm just gonna go knock that out real quick. Waiting for Andy, heading to Chautauqua. It's about 20 minute drive, going muskie fishing in the kayak. Look at his hat on. Oh, he's got his hat on. Does that grip across his hat? We get to the ramp where we're meeting up with another muskie expert, Mark Graziano and his friend Tyler. It's day three of Muskie Mania Marathon. No, seriously, I got it. I got it. Don't worry, I got it. He should be able to do all this on his own, don't you think? You Is think he getting so. the kayak down? Yes. I wasn't told that. Didn't your mother teach you anything? You have to be told to help? Really? You see something that needs done, just do it. Do it, children. I'm just gonna start going and let's see how fast I can go. I think I can only go like five. Here we go. Giant muskie coming soon. Just give him a good wave. Andy, it sounds like he's having a heart attack. I'm not having a heart attack. I'll be fine. It's only a mile. Go ahead, Andy, a little bit. Go. Like I said, I'll be fine. You know, I'm not gonna be able to see a follow. I'm too close to the water. Mark's got one. Is it a better one? Wow. Hey, just talk loud. It's a smaller one like yesterday. But it's the right kind, so that's a good sign. A walleye? Mark's got another one. Is it a big one? Cool. Dude, that's a nice one. Keep his butt. Sweet. Okay, this is it. This is the last cast, because I am quitting. Yeah, buddy. Going into golf. Fishing ain't my thing. It sucks, because I look so good with a fishing pole in my hand, don't I? Huh? Look at, look at me. All right, well, unless you guys got any pizza, we're out of here. No pizza. Got some combos. See ya, Marky Mark. Right, nice to meet you, Tyler. Take care, guys. Okay, so that was another failure. Probably got a little cocky trying the kayak thing, but I can tell you, my desire to hold one of these big fish grows stronger with every defeat. I will conquer the elusive beast. I will. My crew is dwindling. They lost the spirit. Now it's down to just me and Aaron. All right, uh, we're at Edinburgh Lake and just realized I forgot the net. <laughs> so now we're just gonna drive around and look for some nice person to let us use their net for today because muskies are like this big and they're hard to land with treble hooks in their face without a net. So here we go. This may seem like a bad thing for getting the net, but I've noticed over the years, when there's no net in the boat, you seem to catch more fish. And I don't know if we can just walk around and ask people. It's like they know. That's why I brought you, <laughs> the new guy. That guy said he'd let us use one if he had one. It's the stupidest thing ever, isn't it? Welcome to my world. No luck. There was one boat back in that creek. You could go ask him. You could go to the store and buy one. There's a thought. Never see anybody outside. It's crazy. Not looking so good. One more place left to check. There's a guy in a lawnmower. This might be our net right here. I was wondering. 
This is probably the dumbest question you've ever, ever been asked. If we can borrow a net, it doesn't matter. Anything would be better than grabbing it. Awesome. Well, there you go. First person we came in contact with said yes. He said yes. All right. What was his name, Paul? Fan of the show. Gave us two nets. Even put together, they're not even close to big enough. But I'm thinking if we can just get his head in here, we're, we're assuming we're gonna actually get a bite. But if we get his head in here, that's where the, the hooks are gonna be. And then we can grab them from the back, you know, hopefully. Hard to believe. We got a net, now it's time to get day four rolling. Yeehaw! Oh uh, yeah. Come on, muscalon. Does that count? No, he's a little slimy. Should I snag it? Well, this is the place I was dreaming about last night. <laughs> Caught a lot of lucky muskies while I was bass fishing in this area. I just got musky fever, man. Nothing yet. And we hit all the best spots. Okay, we're gonna go try that. One more deal, except for one. There's Mark now, so he'll... He's the musky man. It's funny how it was sunny until we get here and then it just, remember how hot and sunny it was? Yeah. You might as well fish. Awesome. You might as well fish. Oh my gosh. What's the, look at the boil. See that? Dang it, he just didn't get it. See the splash? Dude, I saw him crystal clear. Followed me right to the top of the water. That's a bummer because that was the one. You know what I mean? So it's, I don't know if we're gonna get him to bite again, but I don't think I'm gonna get another chance like that. You know what I mean? I hit him with my bait when I did the turn on the, you know, I hit him on the tail, scared him. I didn't mean to do it. I got one. I got one. Oh, he hit it right at the boat again. Oh, he's not very big, but he's a muskie. Hey, we can fit that one in the net. Oh man, so fun. Which net should we use, this one? <laughs> we went from no net to choices. Cool. Got him. He fits into the little net, but trust me, there's monsters in this lake that definitely will not fit in that net. Little guy. Compared to the ones we've been seeing, I mean, we've seen way bigger ones. Well, let's let him go. Got one. Got one. Oh yeah, man, this is getting stupid now. Fight him for a little while, tire his butt out. It's happening. Cameraman took a, took a break and hooked into one. How'd that feel? <laughs> Gonna put him in there? Oh, oh, you got him. Came off. Got here, forgot my net. So we rode around the lake looking to steal one off the bank somewhere and all the docks and boats are gone. So I went all the way back through there and found a guy mowing his grass and he loaned us his little tiny net. That's probably 30, isn't it? Nice. Dude, I'm hooked up again. I don't know how big it is, it's like over 30. It's bigger than anything we've got. Look at how they don't even fight. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Ooh, this is a nice one here. Barely hooked. I wish I could just grab him. There he goes. I hate to stick him in the net if I don't have to, but I don't like the treble hooks everywhere. Come on, boy, get over here. Got him. What is that, a perch? Really? That's minus one, Mark. Smallest fish in the lake. Minus one for sure. That fish was definitely born yesterday. Anyway, I've always wanted to get a figure eight bite. And up until now, that has eluded me. But I keep doing it anyway, just in case. This happened. Oh, he's 40, wasn't he? Yeah. I think he's... No. Oh, man. I saw that fish and I figure eighted him and he bit it and I lost him. That's only the second time I've ever got a bite doing that. Got a figure eight bite and didn't catch it. Unreal. We got it a little bit of it on camera. That was awesome. But we're not done yet. Go for a start recording. Whoops. Aaron's got another one. Oh, yeah. You sure it's a fish? <laughs> I saw the swirl on the surface before I even saw the fish eat it. It's crazy. This is crazy. There he is. 
boy, thanks Paul for the net. Paul saved us a hook in the arm, no doubt. And hey, Aaron's got his second muskie of his life. He's hooked forever now. Failed miserably yesterday. So we came to Edinburgh and it's been unbelievable. We haven't caught a real big one yet, but we've had 15 occurrences, follows or bites or fish getting off or fish caught. We've put three muskies in the boat, which is pretty amazing. We've seen one great big one, like in the mid 40s. So I'd say it was a pretty awesome day. We got about an hour before it gets dark. It's been a workout the last couple days, I can tell you that. I feel it in my ribs and in my hand, and it's a lot of work. Occurrences. There's a new musky word for you. Last cast. Oh, it's raining. We better roll. Feel that? Yeah, so we're out of here. I love Edinburgh. You like Edinburgh? Yeah. Crap, we gotta take the net back to that guy. I wonder if we should just go by road. We're out of here. It's getting dark and it's raining. <laughs> you just never know. We hit the weather wrong. Today, if we went out with Woody, we would have probably crushed them. You know, it's pre-front, there's a front coming. It's 80 degrees today. It's supposed to drop to 40 tomorrow or the next day. Uh, starting to rain, it started out sunny. So that's what got the muskies fired up today. I almost wish we would have went back to Pima Tuning just to see if we could have caught a big one. Don't wipe the sign out on your way by. It would make great TV, but I don't want to do it. Man, the weather people were almost right. Yeah, I know. I was just gonna say that. They said it was about 7, 7.30 it was gonna rain. I don't remember which house was this, do you? It was the last one. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> How'd you do? Paul, we broke in your nets. We didn't break them, we broke them in. Did you really, did you really catch them? We put, how many muskies, four? Get we put four here. muskies in this little net. This is on, that's on, congratulations. Thank, thank you. Know, I thought that's probably because you, you came fishing without a net. You think it was? Yes. I believe that. And then what happens? I do believe that. I want you to meet my wife here. Okay. Nancy. Are your dogs going to bite my leg off? No. Nancy, how big were the muskies? Um, the biggest one was like 34. So they were all smaller. Well, well, well that's a good thing. Yeah. We planned it that way. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. She's not coming? She's not, cause she's laying Should there. we go in there with the camera? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, well, anyway, nice. I'm glad you guys had luck. But we really appreciate it. Go that was right cool. Hey, anytime. You know, awesome. You start out here or whatever. Well, we'll say hi from more often from now on, now that we know who you are. Okay. Cool. Right. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Right. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Yeah. Too bad we didn't get to meet Nancy. Though. All right, let's go home. Good day. Nice day, huh? So most normal people would quit after that day four madness, but we ain't normal. All right, day number, what is this? 31 occurrences in four days. And out of all that, we've seen a couple of big ones, but we haven't caught a big one yet. So today is the last day of musky mania, headed to Chautauqua, and the main goal is to catch a giant. Mark it one time for a catch and uh, hit it twice to mark a waypoint. Yeah. Are you going to remember to do it? Because you can just stick it on your hat. Nice. Are you going to remember to click it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do all occurrences. Follows, bites, and fish catches. Village of Mayville. Ooh, the presidential boat launch. Sounds like us. The pee must have fell off. Look, there's a picture of a muskie. Oh, yeah. be in the right place. Finally remembered the net. Paul's net, getting smarter. Would not be big enough for today. And we're starting our trip. Today, we're using the Angler app and the Bullseye to track our trip. Boom. I'm gonna name it. Biggest muskie ever. You gonna be able to remember to push the button? You got it on your hat. Okay, don't get scared, because these aren't little muskies. You know what I mean? Don't be, you're not gonna get scared, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> Sun's out, what's going on? Okay, this is it. The grand finale of the Musky Mania week. It's the last nice day before the weather drops out. If there ever was a perfect musky day, this is it. I got a feeling. This is it, first cast. 
of the last day of musky mania. Are you excited? It really is a lot nicer day than what I thought it was going to be. That rain just missed us. Came up big giant bands. Those clouds coming don't look very good. See that? You know, that glide bait seems to be magic too. I don't know whether I should be throwing that instead. This one looks pretty good in the water though. When you're fishing for muskies, it's always safe to use a bait that imitates a perch, at least in our neck of the woods. Our only problem is the wind, not allowing us to fish where I'd hoped to, so we're forced to punt. It's hard because you don't know whether to reel it, jerk it. They were hitting that glide bait pretty slow. Different lake. You gotta re-figure all that stuff out every day. It's spooky to me looking down in that green water. This is the one I was using on Edinburgh yesterday. I'm just gonna put a more natural looking one on. The water's a lot clearer here. First cast. Man, you, we're gonna feel the temperature drop today. It's definitely getting colder right now. Got one. It's a big one. Way out there, straight out. It's definitely bigger than what we had yesterday. See it? That didn't take long. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, we need this one. <laughs> oh, he soaked me. Oh my gosh, this is way stronger than the ones we had yesterday. Hit your bullseye. Oh, he's barely hooked. Come on, get over here, fish. Barely hooked. I'm gonna have to grab it. Yes, now that's a tanker. There he is. Nice one, too. I just switched colors, you know that? Yeah, big one. Look at that, over 40. <laughs> Dude, that's the biggest one. He didn't really do a crazy jump, but boy, did he fight. Nice. That's what we've been fishing for all these hours, all these days. Unbelievable. He got me. I don't know, but I don't think that was a coincidence. You know what I mean? I just switched to this perch looking one. I can't breathe when stuff like that. That's huge. Man, that happened quick. We could quit, go eat. You don't want to catch one of them, do you? It's scary. Aaron needs a muskie today. I'm putting them in the game. Okay, let me hear you. Check, 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 check. Okay, now we're both fishing. GoPro, start. I got one. Boom. <laughs> Unbelievable. Aaron, grab the camera. <laughs> oh, it's a muskie. Yeah, he's not very big. God, he's crazy. Those ones at Edinburgh didn't do that. Little guy. You know, to have back-to-back -back musky days like this is just not normal. At least we know there's fish in this area. Yeah, I'd I say mean, we, so. I mean, this is a huge place. They're feeding, too. That one you caught had something huge in its belly. How'd you catch that one? The same as your tree retrieve? Yeah. They're not, they're not just following either. They're eating it, you know? Yeah. We haven't even seen a follow yet, but we have two catches. The weather's starting to get bad, but it's so hard to quit because you never know what's gonna happen on the next cast. Hey, we've had two occurrences. <laughs> and two both, catches. Yeah, they're both the right That's kind. a good percentage. Temperature dropped like 10 degrees since we got out here. There's one! Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Can you believe this? Not a giant, but another muskie on the X-Wrap. Man, they're crazy, aren't they? Number three already. Been out here for less than an hour. Unreal. Pretty, huh? I would definitely put the old uh, X wrap back on if I were you. Yeah, you want to have me one of those X wraps? That's number three in less than an hour. <laughs> Look at all the perch. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Did you see that? Yeah, it was like a whole school. A dog put the X wrap on and. There's one. Bam. You got one? I Go don't start it's... recording. Fish on. Is it one? Yeah. Small. Are you sure? No, you don't know that yet. It could be swimming towards you. It definitely is swimming. Ooh. Not. Whoa, my gosh. <laughs> you sure it's a fish? I don't know. <laughs> Decent one. He choked it too. Yeah, he ate it good. Oh my god. That's gonna be a mess. Good luck with that. Yeah, I know. Mark it. We're gonna run back, run back up. Yeah. We're just making passes on this little spot, so we're just going to keep 
doing these drifts until we don't catch one. That bullseye, that angler app, it should tell us how much the temperature dropped. Like it'll tell us the conditions on every single one of those catches. That's It'll pretty cool. interesting today with the way the weather is. Yeah. Let's try it again. We still haven't had a single follow. Uh uh. That's because they follow when they're not biting. It's 1236. We started at 1030. <laughs> 1030, I turned that app on. So we've been two hours. Well, what do you say? Let's boogie. Yeah. Find another good spot. It's getting cold and dark. Uh, but is it too much to ask for just one more muskie? <laughs> it's definitely got potential. It's different. Got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a decent one. This area, though, man, it, it just had that look, you know? Wow. There it is. Dang it, I thought that was a big one the way he bit it. Drop the pliers. You drop your pliers? Yeah. Yeah. Pliers is gone. Oh, musky, 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 musky. Get, do it, figure eight, figure eight. So I'd keep doing it for a few minutes. I saw him. There was bait here too. Did you see that? Yeah. That was a big one, huh? GoPro, start recording. Yeah, it was big. Okay, so now we're not perfect on occurrences. <laughs> he was 40. Jeez. I thought he was gonna bite yours. He took off away from mine, so I knew he wasn't gonna bite mine. He just turned and went your way. Last spot. There's something going on right here. Cause that weed point's way out there. It goes way in right here. Muskies are smart. We're trying to be quiet, stealthy, and sneak up on these fish, but close enough where I could cast right in his boat. Could have went around us, nah. Two boats on the entire lake. He's got to run within 20 feet of us. They think it's like driving a car as long as you don't hit anything. Fish. Oh yeah. Well, luckily it didn't matter. Nice. Tenth muskie in two days. That's unbelievable. Where are those uh, <laughs> dinky pliers you got? They're at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> yeah. Here's musky number. Get my picture. Yeah. How many's that? Boy, he's ugly. Six. I've literally lost count. And now in just two days, he's caught more muskies than most people catch in a year. I think that's a good one to end the day on. That's the end of musky madness. That was a week I will never forget. But it's time to put a fork in it, call it a day. This one you can see the teeth marks on. Yeah. Very cool. How many is that then? Total. With me and you, I got we got ten. Ten in two days. How many did we catch today? I think you caught four. I caught two. <laughs> you're looking good. <laughs> you look like you've been working out. <laughs> it was uh, an incredible musky uh, adventure these last five days. Pulling the boat out. Weather is about to take a massive turn for the worse. It's gonna get real, real ugly. Sure was an awesome way to end it. It's this right here. Had quite a bit of action in the earlier days. And yesterday and today, we didn't throw this much. Edinburgh was a little, a little more cloudy, so we caught them on these brighter ones with the orange bellies. And then at Chautauqua today, all of them came on that one. I'll sell you one. This is the deal. X wraps. We had a blast. I had a blast. Looks like he had a blast too. Look at him back there. Hello? What are you doing? Well, uh, just putting the boat on the trailer. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Okay, yeah, I'm on my way. Alright, okay. Okie dokie. That's a wrap. So we're going to end the day. Biggest muskie ever. There's our trip. Pretty cool, huh? How long did we fish? Since 10.30, so five hours. And there's all our occurrences, so we just gotta go back in and put photos in, which we can do later. The Angler app is an incredible tool and a great way to document your fishing trips. You can upload your photos in real time or easily do it later. And there's no limit to how many photos you can include in your trips. One of the best features is being able to look at the timeline of your trip and being able to look at real-time data as it happens and how it might have affected your day on the water. You've got properties, you can plug in all the gear you use, the weather conditions, 
and add notes like I did here. And of course, you got the satellite mapping and the tracks and waypoints you entered throughout your day. There's no limit to the amount of info you can store. And another cool thing, you can actually replay your trips. Until next time, good luck, and we'll see you next week.